Hello, welcome to Card in Beam. I will train construction professionals. My name is Engineer Lucas Chacha, and I'm going to show you a step by step procedure of how to calculate the area of a uh, heap proof. This is what I'm referring to here the area of this heap proof. And um, the reason as to why I'm teaching you, or I want you to understand how to calculate or how to estimate that area of a heap proof is to help you also estimate the number of roofing materials, maybe roofing sheets or roofing tiles. And if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, please subscribe, like, comment and share and give us a suggestion on the next civil engineering concept that we can uh, teach or elaborate on. Now, let's get into the business of the day. I want to calculate this area of the roof. So the key concept here is that you have to understand that this area of a roof has um, two shapes. That is a trapezoidal shape from the longer side, that's the length side, and then it has a square, a triangle from the width side, as you can see. So we just have to calculate the area one plus area two. Area one here, I'm just referring to this area, and then area two, I'm referring to this area here, of this triangle here. So how do we arrive there? So before we come into calculation, let me just briefly teach you something on this roof. Let me do just a cleanup of, um, yes. So as you can see here, we have just parts of this roof that I want you to understand that most people are not even elaborating on clearly. So if you really want to understand this, let me get my pen right. So we have this part here. This is called a ridge. We need to get its area. It will be the shorter length. This ridge, as you can see, it's this part here, this ridge there. And then we also have um, this, the entire of this length here. It's this is the length of this our shape here. I can just expand this shape here. And we also have, uh, so how do we arrive at this figure? If you are given here as 15, the entire length here is 15 and this one as, as six meters. So to estimate that, So to estimate that is that we assume that this ridge cuts half the length of our width. So if our width are six, and then if we cut it by half, then we have we having three. So let me get my pen here. So we'll be having half. If we cut this uh, width by half, we have here three, and also have here three meters. So and also this length between here from the edge of our roof to the king post, it should be also of the same length, which is three meters. And also here, we then, then here we'll be having three meters and on top here we'll also be having three meters. So having said that, then we can easily get the length of our ridge. Now that this one will be three meters and also this one here will be three meters. So to calculate the area, and not the area, but the length of our ridge that are here, it will be the total length, which is 15. I mean the total length of this span here, and we subtract by these two uh, half, these two, three, three side here, and this length here, which is six. So just like six minus 15, which will be, we'll be having as nine. So we'll be having here our length of our ridge as nine. So now, now that we have our dimensions, let's come back to our calculation here. Okay, 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 okay. So remember that uh, so far we have this one as uh, 15 as given, and then we have this one as nine. And then we also have uh, this one, 
based on this roof, we also have this, this length here is the one which is down here, which is six meters. Now, we're just left with this height here. So how do you calculate the height from the height where we have our rental up to the peak of our roof here? So how do we calculate this height? Then we are going to apply trigonometry uh, formula of calculating the height of a triangle. So if maybe have we have a triangle, let me just draw here this triangle. Just uh, not very clear, but I believe you understand this just a straight line. Nice. So we you know that you are given this angle as 45. Not, not this angle, this 90 degrees, but this angle on this side here is 45. Let me just expand it a bit. This is 45. So we want to calculate this height here, but you have this length here as 3 meters. So remember, this is half this length here. So to get that height, then you are going to use a tan, whereby tan theta will give us opposite over adjacent. So having said that, we have our tan as 45, and then we have adjacent as 3, and then we have now this as our opposite. Let's give this one as k. Don't like working with the zeros. So that one can say that that's K, which is the opposite equals to our tan here, which is tan 45. And then everything here will multiply by A. I'm just doing it properly, or I'm just doing it systematically so that you understand what I'm, what I'm really referring to. And then, then to get this K, Tan 45, I have my calculator here. It's 1. And then I have my adjacent length as 3. So if k will equal to 3 meters. So let's go back. Now we have all our dimensions. So the first thing that you have to do is you calculate all your all our dimension correctly. So having now calculated our dimensions, then we can easily now get the area of this trapezoidal. But remember that there are two. We have this one here as A. And this one you can also have it as. So we have let's say this can be A, and this one can be A prime. Then this one can be area E A1, A1. Then have the area two and area two prime. Area two prime like that. So we have just I can just even this area B is B, just not to confuse anyone. So let's just quickly calculate that. Let me clear my canva so that you can. So you know that the area of a trapezoidal, I had even worked it out here, is that a half base times length. You know that the base, the first base here that we have is, uh, this is a half base, base one is 15. This is when you are calculating the area of a trapezoidal, a trapezoid, trapezoid, I mean this area here, this 15 plus this a half A plus B. So A is a half A, as our B1 and our B2 here, this one and this two. So here we have 15 plus 9. You multiply by the height of 3. So if you work out this, then um, it is a half base, which is 15 times plus. 15 plus 9, you work out, then you're going to get your area as 36. Then Remember that 36 is the area of a single trapezoidal, but you have two of them. So you multiply 36, you multiply by 2, 
and will arrive to your, your answer as 72 as the total area of these sides of a trapezoid of trapezoids then the other side that you'll be looking at is this area of a rectangle this area of a triangle sorry so this one will be also be a half base you multiply by height whereby is a half what's the base here the base six you multiply by the height which is the height will be three so this two will go here one two will come will go there three so three by three which is two will go here three so that will be nine yes three by three is nine but remember that you have two sides of these rectangulars here this area a b b b1 b2 so you have to multiply these eight this nine by two so if you multiply by nine by two then you are going to get 18 meter square so remember that our first area was 72 and we also have 18 so you'll come here in our conclusion and say that now the total area will be this 72 which is the area of the two uh, 72 meter square that's the area of the two trapezoids plus 18 meter square so if you add 72 plus 18 then you are going to get here uh, a 90 meter square thank you so that's how to calculate the area of a heap proof so thank you for listening let's meet in our next video but remember to subscribe like and comment thank you so much